This video is about audio and video feedback. Everyone's heard audio feedback. In the movies, when someone steps up to a podium or holds a microphone, you always hear a squeal. I'm not sure why the producers always want to put that in there, I guess to let you know the microphone is working. But audio feedback can be bad as it can hurt the speakers. I'm not going to go into what all it can hurt today. But there's also video feedback, which not many people really know about. I'm going to show you a few ways that you can see video feedback on your phone today. First, let's talk about audio feedback. On the blackboard, I've written out um, the diagram of a PA system. It has a microphone on the right, a mixer, a power amp, and a speaker. The way audio feedback happens is the microphone picks up sounds and the speaker produces sounds. When the microphone gets too close to the speaker or the speaker system is too loud, it will start a rotation, a circle, where the speaker sound is coming back into the microphone and that produces audio feedback which is, can be high pitch feedback or low pitch feedback, and it can damage the speakers. Here's a demonstration. That's audio feedback. Let's talk about video feedback. Hey kids, I'm going to show you today about video feedback. Audio feedback is when the microphone uh, hears the speakers too loud and goes back. Video feedback is totally different. It's a lot of fun. Check this out. If we take our GoPro and turn the app on, watch what happens. Let me move the camera closer. See it repeating? Mm -hmm. More and more and more until it finally starts to blur out. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Video feedback, video loop. The video was going right back through where it came from. How is that work? Isn't that neat? Like you can see me? doesn't damage the phone or the camera at all. Unlike audio feedback will break the speakers. Pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. You guys just made a YouTube video for me. Huh? Smile with the camera. For video feedback to happen, we need three things. We need a camera, a television, or a phone. And we need a live connection. A camera receives images and a TV projects images. So just like in audio, we need a connection. So we have a live connection and now we can point a camera at a TV and the camera will receive the same image that the camera is producing. Think of it as a circle. The TV is broadcasting an image and the camera is picking up the image, going round and round. Since video feedback doesn't damage any equipment, you can have some fun with it, like holding your camera up to a mirror, or on FaceTime, you can call and use two phones to do it. But you'll also get audio feedback if you use two phones side by side with FaceTime. Grab your phone, some mirrors, an old camera connected to a television, whatever you got and see if you can make video feedback. Again, video feedback is totally safe for your equipment. Audio feedback is bad, and to avoid audio feedback, you turn the system down or move the microphone away from in front of the speaker. Thanks for watching Dusty's Random. Please subscribe. It costs you nothing. See you next video.